So this question is asking us to work with a triangle. It's not a right angle triangle, so we think of this as uh, any old triangle. And from the formulas at the front of the exam paper, we can see that it could be involved in the cosine rule or the sine rule. Um, it wants us to calculate the length of LN. Um, therefore, we need to work with these two lengths and this angle. Now, the cosine rule only works if you've got all the side lengths or an SAS triangle. So we needed either an SAS triangle or an SSS triangle. So we've got two lengths here. So we've got side and side, but we've got the angle over here. So it looks like we're going to be better off uh, trying to use the sine rule. Um, the sine rule would allow us to calculate this angle here, or this angle here. Um, let's have a look. Sine rule works from lengths and opposite angles. So we can see here we've got a length opposite an angle, and here we've got a length, and we could work out that angle there. If we can work out that angle, then we know this angle, and therefore we've got a side angle side triangle to then use the cosine rule. So this question was worth five marks, so they are expecting you to do quite a few sums. So let's get started by calculating the angle N L M. So we use the sine rule to start with. Now from the front of the exam paper we can see that the sine rule says because we want an angle then we know that the sine of A over little a is going to be equal to the sine of B over little b is going to be equal to the sine of C over little c. Um, this triangle works with L's, N's and M's so basically we can just replace all of these with the correct letters. So this is L, this will be little l, this is N, this will be little n this is M, this will be little m. Um, so the rule we're going to use is saying we're going to use N. So we're going to do the sine of N divided by little n. And we're going to work with L. So that's going to be the sine of big L is divided by little l. So we can put our numbers in. Um, so we put our numbers in to find out the angle we want. So the sine of N. So the sine of N is the sine of 136 degrees over the length of little n and that equals the sine of big L over the length of little l and we can just rearrange this then to get the answer for the sine so the sine of L is going to be equal to 12.8 times the sine of 136 divided by 15.7 because I need to know what L is we have to do the inverse sine because uh, we want the opposite of sine, which is the inverse sine. So we're going to do the inverse sine of 12.8 times the sine of 136 over 15.7. So on our calculators, uh, again, we'll check that it's in degrees mode. So we can see here DAG. Yeah, um, no, it's actually got radians. So let's change modes. Uh, right, okay, so it's got DAG in the screen. So let's go for it. Um, we've got to do the inverse sine, so second function sine, in a bracket because we want to be doing this sum. So we're going to do 12.8 times the sine of 136 divided by 15.7, close bracket, equals. So that gives us an answer of 34.495789. Eight five degrees. So that's what L is. Therefore, we can work out the angle here um, because angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So angle NML is equal to 180 minus 136 minus 34.49. By minus 136 equals minus 180 equals. Uh, let's do that around. So 180 minus 136 minus 34.49, so 9.51 degrees. So we found out the angle NML is 9.51 degrees. So we can now use the cosine rule. So cosine rule says if I take the value of m squared it's going to equal the value of n squared plus l squared, take away two lots of nl times the cosine between the two lengths, and the cosine is the two lengths there, so we know this angle is 
9.51. So we've got our side angle, side triangle. Um, cosine law can never be used. So cos of uh, m. So let's put our numbers in. So m squared is going to be equal to m squared. That's 15.7 squared. And we're going to add l squared, which is 12.8 squared. And I'm going to take away 2 times 15.7 uh, times 12.8 times the cosine of 9.51 degrees. So m squared is going to be equal to, so we've got 15.7 squared plus 12.8 squared. Take away bracket 2 times 15.7 times 12.8 times the cosine of 9.51, close bracket, equals. So m squared is 13.9336. So m will equal the square root of that. So if we square root that, then we get an answer of 3.7327. Then we go back and check what the question actually wants. It wants the answer to three significant figures. So when we look at this, three significant figures, we count from the left to the first non-zero digit. So one, two, three. So the two doesn't change to three. So the answer here, 3.73. It's already given us the unit, so we need to worry about that. So quite a long question because worth five marks. So she was spending about five minutes on it. And we recognize that if we knew what the angle there was, we've got a side angle, side triangle. So the aim was to get that angle. So using the sine rule, we could get the angle there, which then allowed us to do angles in a triangle at 180 to get that one. And then we could use the cosine rule to work out the answer we need. So that's how we can use the sine rule and the cosine rule to find our